Hey, 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 hey. What it do? What it do? This is your boy, KQK to the motherfucking C. That's right, popping off on another morning video for you. This time. Now, let's get this straight before I say this. We all know, we all know that family is off limits when it comes to boxing or anything else. But I'm gonna make an exception. Why? Because Tyson Fury, father, don't know how to shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say it. His bald-headed ass, when his son got knocked out in the first fight. Yeah, he was knocked out for a minute. And yes, he did have a concussion. He said, please, son, stay away from that guy. He's a strong puncher. Now, his wife also said the same thing. No, do not rematch him. Do not fight him again. He will hurt you again. His wife said the same thing. So, he wasn't sure. He wasn't positive that he can do it. So he said, okay, you know what? Fuck y'all. What I'm going to do is find a plan. So I'm going to get rid of Ben Davidson, who said, look, you better take this shit seriously. So he got Sugar Hill, who, Adonis Stevenson was his protege, who was knocking out people also. But it's not the knockout, it's who you knock out. Now, I'm going to make this clear, and I ain't going to say it again. Deontay Wilder, that fight would have been, let's just say, closer than it would have been if allegedly he didn't cheat or hit him uh, behind the ear, which will throw off your equilibrium. Now, there's a couple of videos out right now that show the cheating of the glove. Blue Blood Sports, shout out to him. He gave you a perfect example. And he showed you a perfect example. So, when you have your daddy, your poppy, your gypsy king daddy, the bald-headed motherfucker that's talking shit. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to tell you what he said. And... Will put his son as the best fighter ever now, then, you know, that kind of little tick you off. You see, that's another uh, 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 a Benedict Arnold, but he's not a Benedict Arnold over here. You see? Now, one more thing. UK people, I know you're not used to winning anything. Anthony Joshua. He won those belts on a whim. Because what? When real competition stepped up like Deontay Wilder, you use every excuse in the book. So I say to you, you scrub and Tyson Fury. You have to cheat, allegedly. And you have to hit someone behind the ear and throw off the equilibrium in order to win. I get it. You had a game plan, and you executed that game plan. Now, I'm not going to tear you down like I might do later on, but the game plan worked. But the referees, the judges, had to be more conscious about them gloves. Sure, they taped around the wrist, but Margarito, his glove was taped around the wrist too, right? Then a damn block fell out. You see? First of all, too many damn belts, too many damn PEDs, and too many damn cheaters. And don't think Tyson Fury did this all by himself. He's not that bright. Once an addict, always an addict. Once a drunk, always a drunk. And that mental illness, that's come from bad, hot shot drugs. So, once you have all that in your system, and he admits it, 
You can't think of nothing like that. You can't even think of your ABCs. So fuck him. Now, I got that out the way. Let's see what bald head Poppy got to say. And he said this too, of course, BoxingScene.com with they trading ass. But they do have good sources. So that's why I still use them here and fucking there. Now, Deontay Wilder has officially, now, I want you to hear this. He has officially exercised an immediate rematch clause for a third fight with Tyson Fury. He did that officially yesterday. The third bout is being targeted for July 18th. And yes, it will be over here and not over in the UK. Sorry, UK. You see, Tyson Fury don't give a shit about y'all. I'm sorry, UK. Y'all cheering for a traitor. Y'all cheering for someone that don't give a shit about Manchester, Sheffield, Brighton, or whoever else. They only one block long. So remember, you call on us when you need help. Remember, you're not big as Texas. Remember, you ain't one shit but darts. So get a protein. Yeah. And I can go I can go further than that. But it's not about the UK today. It's about the bald headed father and his son. Now, again, the third bout is targeted for the NBA and Grand in Las Vegas. Same like before, no changes. And it's smart for Deontay Wilder to put the third fight in there. They both gonna make money. Win, lose, or draw. Wilder gonna make his money. You know? But see, Tyson Fury can't handle success. Think about it. He won two series ago. Watch how he make the news. And watch the things he do. And how he come in. Come July the 18th. They collided. Back on February the 22nd. At the same Las Vegas venue. That they gonna have the rematch in. With Wilder stopping. With, uh, Wild, with Fury stopping Wilder. In the second round. To catch the WBC heavyweight title. Now. Fury. Will no way, no way, ever, ever carry that WBC heavyweight belt or represent that WBC heavyweight belt like Deontay Wilder. He will shame that belt if he don't set it on fire with that crack he be smoking. Deontay Wilder carried that belt. And the heavyweight division. He made it exciting. He was speaking broadly. He spoke what was on his mind. So. You got to give him. All the credit. For the heavyweight division. At least. At least. In all 10 defenses. Don't you dare. Disrespect a man. That did everything he has done. For this heavyweight division. And that goes for you, Mr. Suleiman. Now, as I go on, as I motherfucking may, Wilder and Fury fought to a controversy 12-round split draw. We know that at the Staples Center, all right? Which is over here. See, UK? Y'all some dumb motherfuckers. Y'all cheering for a motherfucker that got one piece of the heavyweight. Y'all cheer for a man that is more comfortable but naked than he is with clothes. I don't know. I'm not the president. I'm not the queen. I'm not the prince. But y'all kind of fucked up over there. And it's a shame. Now, John Fury, the father of Tyson Fury, is pleading. Now listen at this. I want you to really pay attention to this bald-headed fuck. I know family's off limits, but when you run your damn mouth like this, you get what you asked for. Now, Respect is only given when you show it. That's how I feel. You see? I respect anybody that show me respect. And when you're not showing my champion respect, why the fuck should I show you respect? 
families should shut the fuck up and sit down. Now, of course, he want to make his money too. We know, because you said gypsy. And what gypsies do? They move from one place to the other trying to scam people. That's what they do. They've been doing that all their lives. So get used to it. Now, and trust me, this ain't the last you will hear of this bald headed motherfucker. Now, he was crying. Oh, he was crying. Don't fight that black man. He gave you a concussion. Now he believes Wilder will once again end up in the hospital. And at the same time, he believes Wilder will beat any other boxer in the division not named Tyson Fury. Don't get too high on your drunk ass, crackhead ass son. Don't get too cocky. Now, I can't blame him for that. It's all about money, he says. No, it's not about money with Deontay Wilder. You have to know Deontay Wilder, John Fury. And he told IFL TV, which is a UK base uh, 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 media. He says it's all about the money. But I'm make this clear, which you probably already know. Deontay Wilder don't look at money like you all do. He don't look at money like that. Why the hell you think all your fighters are leaving the UK and coming over to the United States? Because it's money over here. Y'all pay 20 goddamn dollars just to get into a big fight. Well, y'all really don't have big fights, but, you know. So, I get it. You know, y'all don't win that often. And when you do, you know, you go fucking crazy. But like my good brother in the LWC for nine says, we win either way it go. We win when we lose. Because we hear from you all and you make our views go up. Give yourself a clap on the back, you stupid fucks. Now, Deontay Wilder is not money hungry. He believes, and I repeat, he believes in legacy. He believes in being a man. He believes going out on his shield. Win, lose, or draw. If he lose, good. Just carry his ass out of there. But he went out on the shield. You don't get no breathing in that. Anthony Joshua, he had his bags packed, ready to hit Tijuana or Mexico or somewhere to disappear. He still haven't really came out. And when he did, Tyson Fury told him, go to hell. Now, but I don't know what he's going to do with Tyson because Tyson is only getting better. No, he's not. Sugar Hill told him, gain some weight and just go for it. And that's it. I don't even believe Sugar Hill knew about the glove problem. That his inch and pulled and pulled till he was able to fit into that hole in that glove. We already seen the evidence. Now, what would the WBC say? Okay, well, you win, lose. You win some and you lose some. See, that's their attitude. What happened to America, people? What to what happened to standing by your fucking own? How you gonna sit there and let a motherfucker disrespect our national anthem? And here they over there supporting a goddamn queen. And her family, they family, they family, they family. And they damn near broke. They're a small country. They call on us when they need help. Next time we should say, no, we ain't helping you no damn well. Everybody on their own, god damn it. Grab the queen by her hat and bring her ass out there in the center of the, on the uh, square mall. And give her a good old cane ass whooping. You see, you can't fuck with us. We still have more champions than you do. But I'm not going to go off on that. I go off on that at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. But don't be fucking stupid. And he goes on to say, but I know what he's going to do with Tyson. 
because Tyson's only getting better. But get your team around you and tell them to start using their brains. Oh, they're using their brains. They use their brains to make him knock out 40 some motherfuckers. They using their brains by giving him the bronze medal in the Olympics. They using his brains to have 10 successful defenses. They using his brain to fight anybody they put in front of him. If you can call him a bus driver or you can call him whatever. Now, you said only fighter that he fought that was good was Ortiz. Well, I beg the difference. Chris Ariola is a damn good fighter. Remains to burn before he gained all that weight. He was a damn good Haitian fighter. Do I have to go on? Dominic Brazil, he's not a football player. He never was a pro ball player. Yes, he wanted to play football. Wilder did too. But see, let's, 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 let's analyze this shit for a minute. Wilder didn't start off boxing. He started late in boxing. How long Tyson Fury been boxing? And he still got the shit knocked out of him? And if it wasn't for Tony Weeks, his ass would have lost. So don't give me that bullshit. I know my boxing. I know the strategy you can do. Like I told you once before, I am not a trainer. I am not a boxer. But we all know what Wilder can do. Come in smaller. Come in very athletic because Tyson Fury don't have no rhythm. His legs, and his, well, his whole body is built awkward. He don't punch hard. Only reason why is because Deontay Wilder was off balance. Why? Because the legal hit behind the head. Anywhere around the ear area will throw off your equilibrium. That's why he was unsteady on his feet. Check out the video I had posted. Check out Pharaoh. That was playing every goddamn thing. Y'all better start opening y'all motherfucking minds. And I ain't talking about the American people because we already know what it is. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, AJ. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Pathetic, Pathological, Eddie Hearn, Liar. You might have to wait just a little bit longer for your celebration for a UK on UK fight. Because the Bronze Bomber, the fat lady, haven't sung yet. And that bitch ain't gonna sing no way soon. Keep that in mind. Now, Fury, John, the bald headed, big mouth motherfucker. Oh, yes. In this incident, family is on limit. He goes on to say, they're trying to clean it up. Because they probably told me in commercial break, hey, look, you can't be down in nobody. That ain't sportsmanlike shit. Fuck y'all. Say what you want. Look how we get these trolls from the UK. Look how we smack their asses. And we'll smack John Fury too. So I say to you, my brothers and sisters, don't take shit from the UK people. Anytime someone sit there in our country and boo our champion and boo our national anthem, then it's a problem. And another thing, this is our house. This is our country. Now, that Neil Diamond Sweet Caroline shit, play that over in the UK. That's tradition over there. Over here, that's not tradition. Our fighters choose their own music to come out to. That's what we've been doing. And that's what we're going to keep on doing. Earl Spence got yellow beezy. Other fans got uh, 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 Hispanics uh, music coming out. Canelo, he had uh, 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 Hispanic music coming out. So, grow some damn balls, United States of America. And for you United States of America haters or creators, Go fuck yourself. And I hope 
And I really, really hope not only you can find you an outcast, the American people and abroad will find you an outcast. Why? Because we are the LDBC. See, I'm from Chicago. You see, I'm from the Inglewood community. We are the motherland of game, as I mentioned before. The Black Gangster Disciples started in my neighborhood. And you know what we do? You know what they said? And you know what their motto was? In 1971, on 68 and Green, that's the street they originated from. That's when they merged from Black Disciple and Gangster Disciple to Black Gangster Disciple. They say we don't die, we multiply. And that's what we do at the LDBC. We don't die, we multiply. So, with that, that's all I have. I am KQ, K to the motherfucking C. If you like the content, of this video feel free right now subscribe and once you subscribe you'll be notified about this video my live stream Monday through Friday at 12 30 p.m. Central Time you will be notified every time I call a fight it doesn't matter if it's on a fucking Wednesday night Tuesday night Thursday night Friday night or Saturday night I'm gonna call it and also OG Boxing Baby That's 8 a.m. Right here Right there on Phenom International Boxing Channel We be grinding I be grinding Like I said on OG Boxing yesterday I have a damn good following I have a damn good subscribers I have a damn good chat Oh yeah I make it known I make it known and you all are very supportive. Hats off to you. And with that, shout out. A shout out to the almighty LDBC. Assalamu alaikum. That means in the ancient word of peace. Peace be unto you. I'm on to the next one, baby.